education be taught in schools. Um, United States has the highest teen pregnancy rate. 820,000 teens become pregnant each year, which means that 34% of teens have at least one pregnancy before they turn 20 years old. Very few teens are not educated on the importance of sex education. With every school providing the information can decrease the amount of teen pregnancies. So today I'm going to try to persuade my audience on how it should be mandatory for all schools to have sex education. Um, how many of you guys have had to talk with your parents for the sex talk? Now, was it the sex talk that said, don't do it, or was it going into detail? Don't do yeah. it. Though. Don't do it? There was a don't do it. Wait, well, too much detail. <laughs> <laughs> it was if you have any questions to ask. Okay, well, I did not have the sex talk with my mom and my dad. I don't know if they just didn't want to talk about it, or so I learned a lot from friends, which is not good. Um, they're more sexual experience than me, so I just heard their stories and stayed away. Um, so a lot of the the states teach abstinence, which don't do it, and a lot of our parents tell us the same thing, but. Learning about our sexuality and achieving sexual health and well-being is a lifelong process that begins at birth and continues throughout our lives. Um, abstinence from you know, sex until marriage only promotes abstinence from sexual behavior. It strictly excludes the sh decisions on other important sex topics such as birth control, safe sex, and sexual orientation. Here is a map. Um, the red are states. Uh, where sex education, if provided, must include information on abstinence, but not contraception. Contraception. So you see the states in red, they are telling you not to do it, but they're not telling you about, you know, the, the worst that can happen if you do it. So that's not really helping teens. <clears throat> This graph is where teens get primarily get their information from. Um, you can see 36% uh, get it from family and friends. Um, websites and internet, 28%, which is not helpful because you can't believe everything you read on the internet. And then we have teachers right here at 4%, so they're really not learning anything. Um, so how? How is high? How is pregnancy so high in Oklahoma? Um, sex education makes a big difference in decrease of pregnancy. Teen birth rates high in south cent south central states and lower in the uh, northwest. Um, so sex education varies widely in Oklahoma schools, and this is just examples of east school districts and what they teach. So we have Oklahoma City Schools. Um, they had a comprehensive sex education program about 20 years ago, but since, they, it, since then it phased out due to the need to spend more time focusing on college preparedness and standardized tests. Um, now students get related information in biology, anatomy classes, and elective health and family classes, which they don't go into detail much about that. Edmond Public Schools, um, they have a two-hour annual program for eighth graders that addresses puberty, drugs, and alcohol use sy symptoms and treatment of sexual transmitted infection and abstinence. So it's okay. scarring. Is it? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm from California, so I'm pretty sure it could be. Um, Jinx Public Schools use an abstinence-based education curriculum called worth the wait for students in the seventh grade and higher. Seventh grader education include information on reproductive and puberty, reasons not to have sex, symptoms of STIs, and legal issues regarding sexual contact and sexual abuse. And 10th and 11th graders learn about fetal development and parental care, testing and treatments for STIs, and con uh, contraceptive details. So I figure that's a little bit more helpful um, to kids nowadays. Here's just the teen rates and the 
how it's high in the central states and the lowest in the northern, northeast. You really can't read it, but we're in the orange, and it's, uh, I think it was 40 births per 1,000 female, and this is ages 15 to 19. And then, not only <coughs> can they get pregnant, it's also the as uh, sexual transmitted infections that occur in young adults. We have chlamydia by the age 30%, 15 through 19, the age get chlamydia. 40%, uh, 20 through 24. And you see as you get older, it decreases. With gonorrhea, 15 through 19, the age 25%, 20 to 24, 35%, then it decreases. And HIV diagnosed by the age of 13 to 24, uh, 21%, and 25 through 34 is 28% that get HIV. Uh, one in four new infections of uh, HIV infections are the age of 13 to 24. That's about 12,000 use in 2010 and uh, uh, were infected. Um, by looking at all these charts, we have learned that pregnancy and S about pregnancy and STIs. And hopefully, with schools pro providing more sexual education besides just teaching